I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Well, our cold front is in, and we have plenty of moisture across the state here. So we're touching off some pretty good storms throughout the evening hours, and then tomorrow we'll drag a little weather disturbance over us. That's also going to help to draw that air up and ring out the storms. Areas most favored will be central and western sections of the state. Former world boxing champion Johnny Tapia is down for the count tonight. A Bernalillo County District Court judge today sentenced Tapia to a year in prison as an habitual offender. Judge Kenneth Martinez told Tapia, quote, the state has done everything in its power to make certain you live a life that is crime and drug free, and at every turn in the road you have violated the trust of the state. Tapia's most recent trouble came in July when he went to Red River to search for a missing relative, despite a strict probation condition that allowed him to travel only between Albuquerque and Las Cruces. His travel pass had also been altered. Tapia had only two more days left of his probation for drug possession when he violated. State park rangers have cited Brian Condit, Governor Bill Richardson's chief of staff, for a boating accident at Elephant Butte Lake over the weekend. The official report says Richardson was a passenger on the 81-foot houseboat called the Bloody Mary. Condit was at the helm trying to pull into a slip at the marina Saturday afternoon when the Bloody Mary hit another boat. Leon Fay, the boat owner, took control from Condit, but not before the boat struck a third vessel and did more than $10,000 damage. Richardson told us today he was napping when it happened. I think it's important that we, we get the facts out, and the facts will show that uh, no injuries, no uh, big damage. Uh, one boat, I think, has some damage. Uh, and then lastly, that uh, I was asleep. You know, I confess, I, so I don't have all the details. Witnesses say the governor and Condit left the scene immediately. Two days later, Condit told investigators during their first interview with him that he had not been drinking alcohol. Department of Finance and Administration Secretary Catherine Miller was also on the boat. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.